hi guys and welcome back to another video today's video is my favorite type of videos you all know i love me a good makeup haul let's jump right into it i picked up some stuff from makeup revolution doing their fourth of july sale and also ColourPop. they were having a sale but i don't think it was for the fourth of july but they were having a sale so those are the two companies that we will be looking at stuff today from you all know if you been watching my videos, you know why I went to Makeup Revolution because I ordered. I'm just start off with that since that's the main reason of this. I need to find some way I can lay this box. The reason of the haul in the first place, why I even went to the site to begin with. Clear some room off on my table. Okay, so. I tried now I gotta figure out where it is oh here it is so I tried the new makeup revolution foundation IRL filter foundation in f14 it's gonna focus you better focus today so you all know that I felt like that was a little too dark. It was a beautiful, it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful foundation, but I felt like it was too dark. Went on Alta's website and they only had like 12, 13, 14. So I went on Makeup Revolution site and they had points. So this one is 13.7. They had like 13.2, 13.4. I may be exaggerating, I probably am. But yeah, I got 13.7. And I haven't opened it or anything. So I'm gonna swatch it with you guys. And I hope this works. I need to tell y'all what oh 13.7 said that it was yellow undertones, which you know I love. 13.4 says it's uh let me look. Any sense to me of it acting like I, I know I don't know okay so I found it so f14 dark skin with cool undertones and I felt like that was a little just a little bit too deep y'all know I don't mind being deep but if I highlight it and all of that it's a nice foundation I just felt like you know you could really tell the difference between my neck and my face which my neck and my face is kind of like the same shade so that was the only issue I had with that. So I got 13.7, which I thought is for dark skin tones with yellow undertones. So that's why I picked that one up. So let's see. We're going to swatch it. I'm going to give y'all a swatch of both of them. Hopefully this is it because y'all know it. I had love that foundation. I think we're going to be okay. So this one is 13.7. And as you can see, it's kind of like runny, but not really runny. So let me pump out um, 14. Yeah, you could tell the difference automatically. 13.7 is going to work. I'm going to come back and do a video. So this is 14 and 13.7 over here. So, yeah, you could tell the difference right away. Oh, it's so creamy. It's a really creamy. So those are the two shades swatched and you could tell the difference. Yeah. So glad I ordered it. So, so glad I ordered it. So we'll come back for sure and do a wear test. Well, I did a wear test, but we'll just do a shade test or whatever. And of course I picked up some more stuff. Why not? The first thing is, and all of these were on sale. I don't know. I just know that they were on sale. I didn't pay full price for them. So this is the Love Island Times Revolution Mega Bronzer in Sunkissed. I'm always down for a good bronzer. And this is deep. <laughs> This is a truly, truly deep, just the way I like it. If you see me looking over here, I'm looking in the monitor to make sure I'm in focus because I got y'all kind of set up kind of crazy right now, but yeah, that's okay. Ooh, I'm not like flicking y'all off or anything, but y'all see how deep that is? Yes. Makeup Revolution is an affordable brand and they, they, they do pretty good. So that is pretty... 
nice and deep. I'm the type of person I buy bronzers to use as bronzers, to use as eyeshadows, to use as lip liners, any brown shade. I'm just addicted to brown shades. Nothing new. This is the Com Kombacha Skin Shot Peach and Kombacha Primer. I really just got it because I like the packaging and how the packaging looks. This is in another language. So, yeah. I don't know what to tell y'all about this. Don't tell me I'm at the look on my phone to be telling y'all about these products. Nah, y'all know I'm lazy. Let's see what it is. Hold on. Okay, this says, Bursting with hydrating ingredients, the Makeup Revolution Hot Shot Kombachi Kiss Primer is packed with kombachi extracts and juicy peach to promote radiant skin. The primer's cooling gel texture seamlessly set, settles seamlessly while boosting a fast absorbent time for effortless makeup. I'm obsessed with primers also, so we'll be trying this. I really got it because of the bottle, if I'm being honest with y'all. Mm -hmm. Being honest, the next thing is this lip contour kit, and it came with a lip liner along with a liquid lipstick. Of course, it's a brown shade, and it's in the shade Stiletto. Thought this was really pretty. So let's see. I think I got a lip liner from Makeup Revolution. I can't say that I have lipstick, but this is how it looks. Nice, like almost like a muted, almost like a muted brown shade. So let's swatch it. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. So that's it right there. Right here. So y'all don't get it confused with the bronzer. And then let's do the liquid lip. Do they have names? But I guess I just told y'all the name. It's stiletto. Yes, yeah, stiletto. So let's see. I'm always down for a matte. Brown. This isn't as deep as it looks right off the bat. It's not as deep as it looks. But still pretty. Right here. Still pretty. Yeah. Pair. I probably wouldn't never pair the liner with the liquid lip. I wouldn't pair them together. But I definitely will use both of them. So yeah. Got that. The next stuff for Makeup Revolution is just eyeshadows. I want to say I have this already. And if I look at my stash and I have this, then this will just go in the box of giveaways I have. Like I have a crate full of items that I probably have double of or I just don't need it. That I need to like formulate a giveaway and how I want to give it away. I don't know. But this is Forever Dynamic. I'm pretty sure I have this already. But it was on sale. It was like $3. Comes in a 10 case. That's how I know I have it. Because I don't have many eyeshadow palettes that have 10 cases. So I'm quite sure I do have this. Sure. No, no. So this was more on the paint side. The paint family. It comes with a mirror. But these are the shades. Uh, am I a paint girl? Most of the time? No. Do I want to be? Yes. I'm trying to get out of doing so many brown and nude shades that I wanted to, you know, do color. And this was a safe color for me. I won't swatch it just in case I already have it. And then I want to swatch it and then try to give it to somebody. So we'll swatch these, of course, when I get ready to do a makeup look with them. But I know I got that. I'll swatch the ones that I know I don't have. So this is go for a chat. Browns, y'all see them. All of these were $3. And look at this. Browns, new soft browns. These aren't hard browns at all. Very soft and wearable browns for some people this shade right here i would use as a transition i see that as a transition shade the glitter shades almost <laughs> resemble each other 
if you want to be honest with it. But I'm gonna swatch them still. Swatch. Ooh, okay. Makeup Revolution. I'm gonna swatch this deep brown. See if it's deep enough. Oh, yeah, it's coming up more orangey than brown. Yeah, it came up more orangey than brown. But still pretty. Not as deep as I would like it. But it'll give me a soft look when need be. The next one is my type on paper. This is another fun, colorful. Oh, it's broken. Oh no. Oh no. Well, one of the shadows is broke, guys. So I gotta be careful. But, hmm, hope you can see it without me dropping it. Can y'all see it? Well, yeah, this is how it looks. I'm gonna have to throw that away because. I don't want glitter to be all over the place, but I love that yellow up top. I'm just doing it enough so y'all can see without me. Uh, let me see this yellow glitter. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. well, let me do the purple glitter. That's different. Ah, oh. yes. Okay, I'm gonna close it. Those are the two shades you can see. Light. I want to focus. Light, but still pretty. You know what I mean? Still pretty and soft. So, yeah. I got glitter all right here. The next palette is Kombucha Kiss, so it's the same as the primer. I told y'all I don't need no more eyeshadow palettes, but I keep buying it. I'm addicted to them. I don't even want to come out the pack. It's sick of me too. Come on. I will tear up a box to get in it. <laughs> I don't care nothing about the box. I want what's inside. So this is how it looks. Let's see these shades. It comes with a big mirror. Still some fun shades. Fun, I feel like fun summer shades. Your pinks, your golds, your yellows. Love me a good yellow. Soft peach. I'm always going to pick a palette with a gold in it. Very rarely do I pick something that's more cool tone with silvers in it. But this is pretty. So we'll be playing with that. And then the last thing for Makeup Revolution is this Disney Princess. I keep saying Makeup Revolution, but I order from iHeart Revolution. So is that the same thing? I don't know. But y'all know I'm not a fan of gimmicky like makeup products. So I don't know what made me pick this up. I mean, the colors and everything might be good, but I just don't like, you know, oh. Oh, it comes with the bronzers and eyeshadows. Maybe that's why I picked it up. Okay, let me see if we can get, well, it's got plastic on it, but the bronzers are over here, and then the eyeshadows are here. So let's see if I can get into it. So this is the bronzer. It's very different, huh? Shades I'm not accustomed to using. Oh, well, that's really light. I don't know what that's going to bronze. I'm going to do this pink shade. I really got to... Oh, look at that pink shade, y'all. That pink bronzer shade. Is that a burlap blush or a bronzer? Right there. I see it. That's pigmented, huh? Hmm. And the eyeshadow. The colors are like a look like a uh, fruity pebbles to me. Those are kind of colors are here. I just want to swatch the purple shade. I'm gonna swatch the purple shade right there. That's the shade that's calling me. Let's see. Oh, okay. It's pretty. I'm gonna swatch them. Oh yes, I do. 
it's the kind of like jelly one the I don't want to say wet but kind of like moussey light it's pigmented huh yeah yeah okay so we'll definitely be playing with that okay up next guys we are headed to the ColourPop haul and I can't say that was it something in here I wanted no it was just on sale nothing in particular I don't think it's anything new they was just having a sale that I could not refuse some of these things in here I think Oh yeah, it, it is something new. But some of these things in here are also things that I think I might already own. I'm going to go through my box and see. And if so, then it'll just be put in a giveaway. It's not even worth the hassle of trying to send anything back. Let's start with the small stuff. I brought two single eyeshadows, and I didn't realize that ColourPop sold single eyeshadows. I don't know why. Of course, one is a dark brown, and one is a transition color. So, the dark brown is called Feathered. And it's like a reddish brown. A reddish brown. Yeah. And the transition shade, which is a burnt orange, is called Good Thing. And these were $1.99 or something. But see, that would be the perfect brown for me to use in my, in, in, in my crease. The next are some... Some of this is new, though. Some of these are... Because I... I don't know. Let me see. Hold on. Because I know I have some signs. Like some... What do you call that thing? Yeah, I know what I'm saying. I forget. But anyway, these are the the signs. So I got Virgo, Taurus, Aquarius, which is me, and a Gemini. So I picked these up. I'm not going to swatch these because I don't want this to be like super duper duper long. But this is a Gemini. But I'm going to show y'all, of course. I like ColourPop eyeshadows. I really honestly do. They're pigmented. And these were not $4. Like $3. Yeah. So this is Gemini. I probably got this because of the yellow shade. Y'all know I'm always on the hunt for a yellow shade. Always looking for something that is going to pop on my skin. Yeah. Aquarius. Which is me. My birthstone is Amethyst. Which is purple, so I wasn't I wasn't expecting a blue, but this palette is blue base, which is still pretty. I know I got some of these because I remember saying I picked up the signs and I didn't even get my own signs, so I know they're somewhere. I just gotta find them, but that's how it looks. I'm gonna swatch the blue. Ooh, I'm gonna swatch the blue. That's pretty. Oh, y'all, that is pretty. Look at that blue. That is really, really pretty. Okay, don't get excited, Nana. The next one is Taurus, which is a green palette. Oh yeah, I know I probably, I can know I got this. But that's how it looks. I'm gonna swatch the hunter green, the dark green down there. Oh, that's pretty. This shade up top is a gold glitter shade, but it has some green reflex in it, if you can see it. I'm going to swatch it just to see. Oh, that's pretty. Yes, it is. That is pretty. If my camera focus. Focus, where's the mouse? Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I was trying to see if it like move, like if it changed colors, but that is pretty. The 
The next one, or the last sign, I should say, is a Virgo, which is a pink one. Oh, my muted paints that I like. I like paints, but I like them to be muted. <laughs> like very, very, very soft. In this combination right here, I would do that right now. Put that brown in my crease, put this pale pink shade on my lid, and that's an eye look for me right there. But I'm going to swatch this glitter shade. Once again, it's a gold, but it has some pink reflex in it. So let's see how that looks. Pretty. Pretty and soft. So that's it right there. Very, very, very soft. Okay, so the next set, they look the same, but I guess this this is not the signs. Astrology, that's what it call. It's called, it just dawned on me, astrology signs. So this is called Star Fruity. And this is, I want to say this is new. I don't know. And greens. I must be obsessed with greens, yellows, pinks. I'm just obsessed with makeup. Any, any way you put it, just give it to me any way you can. <laughs> and that's it. I'm not going to swatch the brown because I know you're going to be swatching browns, but I'm going to swatch the lime green shade. Let's see how that. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Color pop. Look at that lime green. That will be so pretty. Can y'all see? My lens don't want to focus today. That's a pretty lime green. The next one is called Strawberry Sweet. If y'all hear, I'm by the window, so, and it's storming outside, so that's just rain if y'all hear anything. But I want to say I got this one. I want to say. I'm not going to swatch it. I'm, I'm not going to swatch the ones that I think I already got. But this is how it looks. Just a pink one. Pink palette. The next one is called All That Topaz. And I think these are new. Ooh, pretty. These are new. I want to say. I probably got a million palettes with this shade of brown in it. I don't need no more brown shades. Really ruby. No more brown shades, no more burgundy shades, no more pink shades. I need no more shades. That's pretty also. I ordered this one. I'm going to show y'all a look. I'm going to put it on the screen right here. I think I ordered this because I saw a picture of the singer Monica and her eyeshadow. And it was similar to this. And I love the way it looks so much. So I'm going to make sure I put that picture up for y'all. And the last eyeshadow is... Centrine, you and me. I told y'all I ain't need no more of that brown. <laughs> brown, gold, yellow. I need, I don't need any more of these eyeshadows. No more of these eyeshadows, but this is how they look. Okay, I did pick up one lip product, a lip lacquer, Fresh Kiss, in the shade Speak Easy. Let's see. I'm quite sure I have this shade in something. But ColourPop, it's, I like their formula. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a muted pink shade. But it's pretty. If you can see a little bit of it. <laughs> you can see a little bit of it. It's pretty. It, it goes. I try to find shades that go with my dark skin tone. You know. Especially nude shades. I know I love a good nude shade. And last but not least. I did order something new from them. And it is the In The Springs palette. I think this launched a couple of weeks ago. Looks like this. I 
think I saw somebody do a look with it and I decided to pick it up. No rhyme or reason. And this is this it it's it it, rem, eh, it reminds you of spring though. I can't say that it really does. The blues, the orange, the yellows. ColourPop makes perfect color combinations for their palettes. So this is really, really pretty. I'm going to swatch one, which is the orange shade up top. Let's see how it does. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Okay. Orange is another shade. Like a bright orange is another shade that me, my dark skin, has trouble, you know, finding one that will stick and stay orange. So I'm just trying to swatch. Okay. I'm going to swatch the navy blue, of course. It wouldn't be right if I didn't. So, ooh. Gosh. That's pigmented. So, I swatched the navy blue, the matte bright orange shade, and then the glitter orange shade. Do y'all see that? Let me turn this way. Do y'all see that? Oh, my gosh. That blue is everything. Wow. I might have to play with this one tomorrow. Yeah, I might have to play with this one tomorrow. Okay, guys, so that is it. I try to keep this haul as short as I could, <laughs> you know, because if I sit here and watch everything, we'll be here forever. But I'll definitely come back and play with this eyeshadow, especially the new one that I just watched from ColourPop. We're going to play with that. We're going to play with all of this makeup. And as always, feel free to drop down and let me know if you purchased anything new lately. Did someone have a sale? One of my subscribers told me about Huda Beauty having a sale. I filled up my cart, went to sleep, got up the next day to finish or see if I missed anything that I wanted. And the sale was over. I was so upset. So I'm grateful for my subscribers because they always tell me like when someone is have a, having a sale. So yeah. So just drop down and let me know if you found anything good recently that I should check out. And if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.